Tian Gwen, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you? I am doing great. Just seeing you and watching you in action and getting all this information from you, I got excited. Uh, you are a millennial, is that correct? Or you're a Gen Z? Yeah. Which one? I'm, I'm unsure where I am. Uh, a lot of people tell me I'm a millennial and then others tell me I'm in between. Um, I was born in 2000, so I am a baby. Um, okay. That is what I wanted to know. And, and the reason I got excited is, you know, I'm a political activist for, for, for decades now. And to see young people take the mantle and young people go out there and fight for rights, it is exciting because it is something that has to be done again. So before we get into your specific issue, what really got you into saying, I am going to go out there and I'm going to start, I'm not going to just take what's given, I'm going to go take what's mine. Well, first off, um, I just kind of grew up very rebellious and um, questioning authority throughout my whole life. Uh, that started slowly translating into politics once I got into feminism and um, social justice work. And I would like to give thanks to like Stephen and Donna and March for Our Lives for allowing me and opening these amazing opportunities and doors for me to be an activist. Um, I just think that you know, in this world, we have a lot of suffering going on. And if we could somewhat memorialize it for everyone, because we are all human beings, that would be a great start to improving and moving forward. Well, that's excellent. So um, what else are you doing? Because I, I, want what, I want the disease that you have right now, that disease of activism, to be <laughs> contagious. So tell me, how can uh, programs like ours encourage the youth, people your age, people in your generation, to move forward? Because like I said, uh, when I saw the, the press release and when I kind of got a hold that this was a group of young activists, I said, you guys had to be on and you guys had to have a presence and people had to know who you are. I understand. Um... I think for me, it's, and I think for a lot of us, it's discontentment. This discontentment with uh, the state of our nation is discontentment with um, uh, how we've seen things run for time and time again, and we're tired and we want to break that cycle and we want to start anew. Um, I speak to a lot of, you know, the other activists, young activists and students, and it's basically the same narrative of we're tired of being treated this way. We've seen this happen over and over again, and people keep on getting screwed over and over again. So we want to be able to be that change for ourselves and our future. 